two great brands, but which is better? There's only one way to find out. <gasps> Fender is obviously the main brand these days, with Squire tending to be the more affordable version, the gateway drug into Fender, if you will. However, here's the thing. Squire guitars are getting better and better in quality as the years go on, with their most recent release, which is the 40th Anniversary series, being among some of the best guitars they've ever produced. Unless you count the old Japanese Squires that they produced for the American market, but that's a whole different story entirely. Currently on the market, these 40th Anniversary Squires are the best that you can buy. We've already shown off the 40th Anniversary Gold Editions when we talked about the history of Squire a couple of months ago. However, However, now we've just had the brand new vintage editions all show up to us. And these, along with the gold edition, are the closest in quality and price point that Squire has ever been to Fender. In terms of price, they're just a little bit over £100 off the entry-level Fender Player series. So that does sort of bode the question, which should you buy? Hypothetically, let's say you've budgeted for £500 to buy your next guitar. That's not an unreasonable amount by any stretch, but you have two options if you're gonna buy from the Fender or Squire market. Do you go to the 450 pound mark and get yourself a Squire 40th anniversary and maybe get a brand new Fender Hammertone pedal with the rest? <laughs> or do you stretch the budget by around 50 pounds or so and get yourself a Fender Player Series? Obviously a little bit more than you wanted to pay, but now you have a Fender, a proper one. Well, let's put that to the test. Today we have got three Fender players and we've got three Squire 40th anniversaries. We have a Stratocaster, a Telecaster and a Jazzmaster of each brand. Let's play them all then and see which ones we prefer from the looks and the sound and even the value for money. Now, of course, this is entirely subject to opinion. So feel free to completely disagree with my verdict in the comments partly because it really helps our engagement boost on YouTube, but mainly because I really want to hear what you guys think. So we'll start chronologically in the order in which the guitars were first introduced because that makes sense to me. First up, we have the Telecasters. Now this video's primary intention, other than talking about Fender versus Squire, was to show off the brand new vintage edition Squire 40th anniversaries. However, we haven't actually had the Telecasters turn up yet, so we're just gonna play a gold edition because they're pretty similar and you get the kind of general idea in terms of the higher quality Squire.
about you but personally I am a massive sucker for a absolute classic blonde maple neck telly. It is the classic Fender guitar and at just a smidge over 550 pounds the Fender player blonde telly is a really good price. But on the other hand just look at the binding on these tellies. The amazing anodized gold pick guard, the gold hardware and the sound really isn't that far off that of its Fender equivalent. It's a very tough one but I think personally I'm gonna have to go with the Fender player. There's really not a lot in it, but personally, I just love the simplicity of the Fender player Telecaster. It's one of those guitars that is just so beautifully simple that it doesn't need a lot of things added to it. That being said though, the beauty of the Squire cannot be denied and at the price that it is, it's such a great value guitar. Okay, so that's one nil to Fender on these particular guitars, but I think if you gave me two different ones, I might have a different opinion. So they're very, very neck and neck. Next up, my favorite guitar of all time, the Fender Stratocaster. So as per usual, we've got a player Strat, but we've got it in this really nice sparkly silver color. So it's not just your run of the mill Fender Strat. For the Squire, we've got one of the new 40th anniversary vintage editions, which comes in a nice sunburst color with a black anodized pick guard. Now they call it vintage edition, but really it's kind of vintage inspired. It has quite a few modern features such as the satin finish and the anodized pick guard, but it does have a few nods to a bygone era by way of vintage hardware as well as a vintage C-shaped neck. All of the hardware is aged chrome as well, which just really helps fit the aesthetic. <laughs> This was a bit of a tough choice for me because I love Fender Strats and I'm a big fan of the sparkly silver. I think a Fender Strat is the kind of guitar that looks good when you jazz it up a bit, but 
that Squire is just so nice. Honestly, I'm just a massive fan of the satin finish, the aged maple neck, and the anodized pick guard is just such a nice touch. Sound wise, it's so close to the Fender strap that you probably couldn't tell the difference if I did a blind test, and it's a hundred pounds cheaper at least. It's gotta be the Squire for me. So the score is tied at 1-1, at least in my opinion. So let's go to a decider. Lastly, we have the Jazzmaster. Okay, so this is where the two guitars differ a little bit more than the previous comparisons we've made so far. And that is because the player jazz masters have two humbuckers in them that split coil via the switchblade, whereas the Squire version has two P90s as the original jazz masters had. So which do I prefer? Well, what I like about the Fender Player Jazz Master is the versatility of sounds that you can get out of it. You've got so many options with two humbuckers that split the coils so you can get all those kind of in-betweeny sounds on there. However, the Olympic white, the gold pick guard, the brushed hardware, the vintage style neck, the Squire Vintage Edition Jazz Master is Gorgeous. Personally, for me, it's really important that a Jazzmaster has P90s on it. I think that makes up part of the classic sound that a Jazzmaster has. But even so, I mean, that white on gold is just amazing. So, despite the fact I like the functionality of the Fender Player Jazzmaster, I think for me, the 40th anniversary vintage and gold edition Jazzmasters are just one of the best guitars Squire has ever produced. So there you go, at a score of 2-1, I have judged the winner here to be Squire. I should probably change my t-shirt. But I think one more thing to note here is that we are comparing the standard Fender Player Editions to the 40th anniversary Squires. Now the thing about the 40th anniversary Squires is that I imagine, and I don't know this for sure, but once the 40th anniversary year of Squire guitars is up, the guitars will most likely go out of production. So where normally the jump up to Fender from Squire might be a little bit bigger than it is in this video, this year is a particularly rare opportunity where you can get a Squire guitar that has never been closer in quality to a Fender. To be honest, this year, if you're looking for a guitar at around that sort of budget that we were looking at in this video, then buying the Fender version might not necessarily be the best option for you. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I absolutely love both Fender and Squire guitars. I think they make some of the most reliable guitars out there on the market anyway. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with what I said? Do you have a different argument? Let me know and it'd be great to hear your thoughts. The 40th anniversary range is pretty much all in stock now. So if you are enticed by some of the models in this video, then I'll put a link in the description and you can check out the entire range for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon.